How's you everybody? This is always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about full stack application when building with Angular and Nest.js. So I have a project that I just try to build some sort of like a application using Ionic framework, which uses Angular and it's Nest.js as a backend framework, which is highly influenced by Angular. So if you know Angular, Nest.js would be really, really easy to pick up. Now, the problem was I was actually having two separate repository for my front-end application and a back-end application. So here is my code for front-end application, and then I've got this uh, back-end code as well. Now, the problem is we using TypeScript in this project, and in the TypeScript, I can actually have some common interfaces for front-end and backup, so I don't have to write the interfaces or some business logic code and duplicate it into the front-end project and the back-end project as well. So what I was trying to figure out that if I could create one repository and some sort of tool that could help me to actually, you know, build both projects within the same repository with one package.json file. Now, uh, I could actually go ahead and then use Angular Semantics, which basically I will have two projects separately created by Angular Semantics, but that wasn't really something that I wanted to because there's going to be configuration issues. So I found a tool here. It's called NX. It's basically uh, it's toolkit for monorepo development. So if you know monorepo terminology, it's basically if you combine many different repositories into one repository and then you have like different codes sitting in that same repository, but they're like separated. They have their own configuration and it really helps. So I would highly recommend if you want to go into details how to use this tool, uh, here's a website. I'll drop that link in the description. They're not sponsoring me anything. It's just like this tool helped me a lot. So I'm basically going to convert these two projects. So there's an API code built in Nest.js and then the Financify app, which is uh, built on Ionic, which is an Angular 10 anyway. So I want to create a single project, which will have both projects. So the way you do that, I'm going to zoom in a bit and let's do one thing. So it's it's very, very, very simple, actually. It's it's really out of the box. So what I'm going to do is use npx command, create dash nx dash workspace at latest. Okay, just run this command and it's going to actually ask you whether you want to create a new project or, you know, what type of project uh, you're going to create. So it has a support for React and Next for the React, and also it has a support for Angular and Nest. I've done a quick mistake here. I want to make sure that I'm on the right folder. So I'm going to just go to desktop. Okay. Now here I'm going to run that command again. And I just wanted to show you this, these options that you get, and then it basically configures your project automatically. So I'm just going to say test project. And here you get all the semantics that you can you know, use. So we got a single Angular project, next JS single project, you know, web components, React Express, Angular Nest. And this is what I would like to use for my project that I'm working on. So I'm going to just press enter on this. It's going to ask me, what is a project? So I'll just say testing NX, enter. It asks you what SAS you want, what CSS, you know, um, preprocessor you want to use. So I'll use SAS, TS linked. And then there's a service that they provide use uh, called NX Cloud, which I'm not going to be using. So I'll just say no. And now it's creating a sandbox with NX, so we'll just wait for this to finish. Now here's a command that you could manually run using NX CLI. So here's a documentation for that. So if you go and install this, follow this guide, and then you got a CLI, and then you can generate, and then you can use these commands uh, pretty much, you know, if you want to customize this. But I found that when I run this, you know, NX, NPX create NX workspace, at latest, it basically does everything for me. I don't have to worry about anything. So it's going to create a, a workspace for me. And then it's going to, you know, create two fresh projects with all the latest repositories. There you go. You can see the logs on a terminal and now it's installing packages. So we'll just wait for this to finish. But the thing is, uh, 
this tool is not just creating your workspace for front and back end. It does come with a lot of other functionality, which I'm not going to cover in this quick video, but you can take a look at this uh, documentation. Um, yeah, we'll just wait for this. All right, so the project has been created. All the packages are installed now. There are some notes that NXCLI uh, is basically throwing at us. It says NXCLI is not installed globally. Uh, that's because I use just N NPX. Uh, and then he said, the first time using NX, check out the Interactive NX tutorial. So here's some thing that you can have a look. So what I'm going to do now is on a desktop, uh, I'm going to go into that folder. So I'll just do CD test and I'm going to do code dot which will open this folder in a real real specific code and there we go we are in the project now what I'm going to be doing here is I've got an apps folder and here's an API folder and then text annex so this source folder is, is the main angular project here for front end and also we have this API project if I take a look at the package.json file you can see it's it has basically installed the Angular animation, Angular Common. It's got all the Angular packages and also Nest Common, Nest.js Common and Nest.js Core. Uh, so basically, it uses this this package.json file for all the repositories, all the packages that you're going to be installing. And I found this tool very, very nice. That's why I'm creating the video. So if you want to explain more about it, have a look at the documentation. I might just create some more tutorials down the road for this because I really like it. So yeah. Um, that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.